Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts, or if it's your first time, welcome. Welcome to the channel. We're glad to have you. I'm Dustin. I'm Keith. Hey, Keith. Hi, Dustin. Bourbon guy. Music guy. Stop calling me an alcoholic, man. You're an alcoholic. Hey. Okay. I'm not a quitter. Yeah, he's for quitters. <laughs> <laughs> so That's bad. That's really bad. It is bad. I'm, I'm sorry. But I kind of... You're not sorry you a little bit. Actually, he's right. I'm not even. No. I kind of got to figure if you're in AA and you're on this channel... Where is oh, it? I got a plan. You're not doing it right. <laughs> you're not doing it right. <laughs> so, Step away from the channel. So what we do here... Yeah. ...is we listen... Uh, we give you first-time reactions to, to country and music. and we drink music. <laughs> No? I think if you've had a lot of the <laughs> bourbon, that's what happens. Um, so, <laughs> we, I think almost all of our reactions are first times. Yeah. So I good. don't. So we've done a couple of songs where uh, one of us has heard the song, but not the other. Mm -hmm. But almost all of them, neither of us has heard it, and we think this. Is, actually, I'm pretty damn sure. I've never heard this tune yeah but before we get into tune what have you got hidden under the table there dun 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 oh there we go old 55 so this is an indiana bourbon it's out of crawfordsville indiana I think. Oh, where the hell Around, is crawfordsville it's like an hour west of my place oh okay so over towards the uh illinois border, border. illinois border yeah so this is this was a gift from our our dear near and dear friend karen Oh, I love Karen. She's freaking awesome. She's not a Karen. Her She's is... the Karen in my book. But not in the bad way. Not uh, not the funky hair, I'd like to speak to your manager type. Right. No. Uh, she's the best Karen. She got me this as a present. You know, I, yeah, it, yeah this is an expensive ass bourbon. Is it? Yeah. Do you know generally what it costs? It's like 140 so, we have a rule of thumb here at Bourbon Country Reacts. If it's at or above $100, it better knock our socks off. And I can tell you I've had this one. I don't think you have. I definitely have not. But it's... Let's, we'll get Let, let's get yeah. there, yeah. So, real quick, before we get into the tune, this is so Old 55 again. This is their 100% sweet corn bourbon whiskey. So, that means that their base... It's just corn, freaking moonshine, put in barrels. Yeah. Okay. I am down with that purest approach. Yep. So uh, it, it tends to be sweet. New, uh, Newtown, Indiana, which is near Crawfordsville. Okay. Yeah. And I, I'm very. I'm not sure that I've had a bourbon, to my knowledge, that is a 100% corn mash. Interestingly, this may be our lowest proof bourbon for the channel. Well, what is it? Right at 80. Where it ha the lowest proof you can be to be bourbon is 80 proof. Yeah. So, interesting. They cut so, it I would bit. expect extraordinary smoothness. Right. It better it better not burn at all at 80. Yeah. All right. So, what tune are we listening to? So, uh, Dustin likes to mention that I've been trying to learn to play guitar poorly for the past 30 years or so. It's full of shit. And, it's really good. I've heard um, it a couple times. The, um, so I have expressed an interest to you guys. Show me good guitar. And you guys have come back uh, with a, uh, a couple of names. Brad Paisley. Now, I'm a West Virginia boy. I moved to Indiana, but I'm a West Virginia boy. The um, reputation that Brad Paisley has in West Virginia for guitar skill is that the man is just a monster. And um, so we listened to a Brad Paisley song or two. Uh -huh. One in which the, the song didn't call for the display of guitar skills and he didn't show them off. Yep. The first one. The first one. The second one, he kind of did, but left me rather unimpressed. Because he was technically sound, but didn't have any of the phrasing. 
Look at you using guitar player terms. I can learn. Phrasing means, for, in the guitar world, phrasing means it just sounds good. It gets the emotion of the guitar player projected through his guitar and into you as the listener. Um, he, in the second song we listened to, he had very fast chops, stuff that I... I look at that and think, yeah, that's about... I could get to that in about three years of trying to practice everything he just did there. Um, so we, I'm aware that Brad has technical guitar chops. Yep. But technical, technical guitar alone doesn't do it for anybody. It's got to get that feel you gotta have through it. the guitar to you. Now, somebody linked us in one of our videos, Brad playing with a bunch of stellar guitarists yeah uh they were doing the game of thrones that was kind of neat i don't know if i still heard the phrasing well brad and every other guitarist on stage i i, I saw that and I, there were some <laughs> legends on stage with brad they were limited by the game of thrones theme as a song yeah I could see that. So they didn't have a lot of opportunity to throw their own creativity into the music and, and get those feels out. Um, so you guys are telling us that Brad Paisley and Keith Urban teamed up. To do this song. To do this song, start a band. And it's supposed to showcase... Both of their chops. Both of their chops. Yeah. So we did another Keith Urban song, didn't we? Yeah. He had the fast run. He did. His and I liked it. Cool. It wasn't very country to me, but... Yeah, it was like a poppy song. Yeah, but... Um, Electro-progressive rock? <laughs> I don't like even that. know. But I, I did recognize the awesome riff that Keith Urban was playing over and over. Yeah, um, I was a little surprised it was him playing it. So, hey, let's check this out and see how this measures up. And sip on some fine Indiana this. bourbon. I'm sorry. I have to stop it. Is he it. trying to play what I think he's trying to play? I have to stop it to because he's intentionally butchering Stairway to Heaven. Oh my God. Which is, as you've told me, in every guitar center ever, they like ban that They song. put signs up, no stairway. <laughs> <laughs> because every every good guitar player on earth wants to come in, pick up a shiny new guitar, plug into an amp, and start playing Stairway. So That's funny. Yeah, yeah I'll back this up. That's funny. I, they, they have my attention with this. <laughs> Can you check this out? Just learn. Wait. Oh, wait. Hang on. Sweet. Sweet. Let's check this one out. I have to stop it again. Because I promise you, him screwing that up was hard. Takes more skill than him just playing the damn song. All right, I'm not going to back it up. Let's go from here because this shit is funny. You guys picking the guitar? It's maddening when that happens. The guitar guy and me can't stop analyzing this. So right now, Brad's not playing. He's singing. Keith Urban's playing. I'm going to back it up just a bit. And there's a tribute in what he's doing huh. to a guy named Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits. So as you're listening to that rhythm guitar that Keith is playing... Think of uh, money for nothing. Teacher's pet or child prodigy. I wasn't going to get rich throwing a football. It take too long to get along and green. So I sat down with mama and daddy. 
That's what it usually sounds like, right? Yeah, fun play. All right, there it was. Check this out. Oops. There, there it was. That was the mix of phrasing and technical skill that we've been looking for. With, yeah. Yep. And, and it was both players. Agreed. So. Um, and they were just having fun. Like you could tell they were just having fun. Well, you know, I'll, I'll, you never know how much of that's for show and how much of it's for real, but we've been told that uh, Brad is a prankster and generally a funny guy. Right. 
Um, and he actually has that reputation in West Virginia just being a great dude. Huh. Um, That's cool as hell. But the, uh, there were moments there where I wanted to press pause and just nerd out on some of the technical stuff that Brad in particular was doing. Um, it was very subtle uh, and Which is probably good. Probably people who don't play guitar probably didn't hear it. It was just these these little um, hooker ons. He actually threw some. He actually threw an arpeggio in one of his leads. It was so fast that um, it really takes a trained ear to hear it. So an arpeggio is where you kind of run through the intervals in a scale. Like, and he just blipped through that, and it was so quick that the untrained ear, probably somebody who really hadn't tuned into guitar, probably didn't even hear it. And every guitar player on earth who's, you know, got some earbuds in and listening went, oh, sweet. Nice. Plus, the phrasing was perfect. Yeah. Because the phrasing was the intent of a fun song. Right. And both players pushed that out through their guitars masterfully. Which was, so the way that I describe that as a non-trained ear is it it sounded really good, but it didn't sound like they were showing off. So you've made the observation, and it's so true. Um, because it's such a th- common thing in rock. You'll get a guitar player that wants to play his solo. Mm-hmm. And his version of solo is put as many notes as I possibly can into these, you know, 25 bars. As fast as I can. As fast as I can, just to show off how fast of a guitar player I am. Right. That's showing off. And you just tune out. Yeah, because it doesn't sound good. It, it's just too much. It just becomes noise. It's like... And it doesn't reach you in any way. Right. This reaches you in a fun and playful way. That sounded really good. And took some skill to play. And I'm not taking any way, anything away from Keith Urban either. He does something that's kind of interesting that I've never heard in any of the country music other than his that you guys have suggested. Uh, suggested. He actually seems to have some progressive rock roots. So you you heard it again. I heard it again, Yeah, and I'd like to, I, I think I'm going to go look for interviews to see if guys like, you know, uh, Steve Howe from Yes, um, Alex Lifeson from Rush, and, you know, maybe even going all the way back to, to The Doors, you know, if those are kind of his influences, if, if he's got some jazz influence. Well, I think we've heard a few times. And maybe in the comments, or I think even your wife, a lot of people don't really think Keith Urban's country. Well, he can fucking play country. Well, yeah, and per <laughs> per Wikipedia, he's country. I checked, <laughs> but there are some people that say he ain't country. I get that based on the previous song we watched of that with was him and Carrie. The, that that song that wasn't country. No, that was pop. Not not as fighter, I understand. Fighter country. was pop. Yeah. Um, this was this felt like country to me, a mix of country and honky tonk. Yeah. And um, as a guy trying to learn to play guitar for thirty years, it did not disappoint. Did you start a band? Never. Hmm. Never started a band. That's I, why you have a nice house and nice cars. <laughs> <laughs> Just so. Saying. You, you know what they call a guitar player without a girlfriend, right? Homeless. <laughs> That's no shit. <laughs> Sad because it's true. All right. Funny because it's true? Yes. <laughs> yes, both. to both. So what do you think of this bourbon, dude? I need to drink it like this. Why? Because I hate the nose. It's got a weird nose, doesn't it? I hate the nose, but the flavor is so fucking good. It's got a weird nose. The nose has like a... I don't know that I've used this term on the channel before. The nose has like a wang. (laughs) 
I don't want a wang in my nose. A wang in your nose. I don't want a wang in my nose. Yeah. How would you describe the nose? I'm having trouble. So it's the nose. And, and I know Karen is going to watch this. Best Karen is going to watch this. It, it, so I, I do not want to insult Best Karen. No, she won't take it in an insult. She wants you to be honest. The nose is like a burnt tire wrapped <laughs> in a daisy. Husk? In a daisy. And no, in a wet corn husk. No, a daisy. It's 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 wet tire or burnt tire and floral. That's weird. I get so what I get is more of like a corn husk. Like a green a green corn husk and silk. On, on corn. I see where you're getting that, but I still get the burnt tire. Well, you're burnt tire because you're fucking racing and shit. I know what burnt tires smell like. Well, it's all the kind you set on fire and the kind you heat up on racetracks. Yeah. It's stuck in your nose. <laughs> Could be. But let's get to the flavor. It is glorious. It comes off. The flavor hits your tongue with uh, almost will it like florals and citrus. Yeah. And a, then a super unique sweetness that's not. It, it is sweet, much sweeter than will it. Mm-hmm. I, I bet that's because of the 100% corn mash. 100% sweet corn mash. Yeah. So it's got this delicious floral sweetness that rolls over to this mild bitter delicious finish that i cannot get enough of this to me is dangerous i could get myself shit faced on this not thinking about how much i'm drinking drink like this not long i'm holding it i need to put like that let's put it in one of those glen Cairns. then you could really get that nose the nose is gross. That is weird. The nose is so... It's a... <gasps> oh, I'm going to choke. So it's weird. And and generally, I mean, as you, as probably a lot of you know, your, your nose has a lot to do with your taste. But this doesn't taste like the nose. Not even a little bit. It is actually bizarre. It's weird, right? It, it is bizarre that what you smell... Does not come across in the taste even a little bit. No. Uh, the only thing that I might get a little bit of in the nose, you do. Get, I sense the sweetness of the bourbon. I can tell what I'm about to put on my palate is going to be sweet. But that's that's it. There are no distinct notes that transfer. I Yeah, I, I get nothing from the nose that carries over to the taste. Nothing. What I think is kind of neat about this bourbon... There is not a single bourbon on my shelf that tastes anything like this. Nor mine. Like, ever. Uh, I just had to finish it. Like, if if you're taking my critique of the nose as not liking this bourbon, you are misreading me. This shit is delicious. <laughs> it's just, it's got a weird nose. With a wangy nose. That's the fastest I have drank a glass on this channel in several months. Mm -hmm. Which is why I say... Which is why I say this stuff's a little dangerous. It is. It is only 80 proof. Oh, it's... So it's... It's it's hitting me fine. And you... The the, one of the things you said was... uh, It better be smooth. It is, too. It is silk smooth. It is silky on your tongue. It would be an absolute travesty, but this stuff is so smooth it's almost chokeable. That would be a bad idea at $130 a bottle. I've shot to happy. <laughs> well, caught. there goes our channel. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you shot happy. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Ask me how many of his friends give him shit for doing that. Exactly all of them. All of them. Every single one. Because who the fuck does that? Now, to be Just fair. This asshole. To be fair, it was his bottle. It was my bottle. And you do what you want with your bottle. Even though you're dumbass, it's fine. All we right. still love you. So, this this is America. America. And we have the freedom to be dumbasses. For now. America. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, cool ass tune with some great guitars. We well, we have settled the um, Brad Paisley question for me. Yeah, he can play. And that question's been hanging out in space yeah. for a long time, and we have settled it tonight. Yeah, because the first one was no guitar. Second one was, mm, there's guitar, but... Shitty mix, shitty Yeah, he was showing off a lot. This one, he really, he, he knocked it out of the park. And, he, and so did Keith Urban. Yeah, he straight up Atlanta Braves this. Yeah. Oh, wow. What? They won the World Series. This is a digression, but I haven't watched any sports in, like, aside from motor sports in... NASCAR! Something like four years. Yeehaw. I watched every game of the World Series this time. Are you Look shitting the, me? I watched every game of the World Series. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but... Who the fuck are you? Well, what'd you do with my buddy Keith? I, I played baseball for something like 15 yeah, years. I know. Yeah. yeah. But I watched well, the World Series. I understand Series. you were halfway decent. Center field? Uh, I, I moved around a lot. I was, but I really hit my stride out in center field. I was fast as shit, so I could, I could, uh, I could catch a ball hit to left or right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we digress. I watched the whole World Series. Hey, if wow. I just blew Dustin's mind, he had no fucking idea. I didn't have a fucking clue when I thought when I said the Braves won the World Series. I didn't think he fucking know that. Oh yeah, are you brace fan? Um, in that World Series, I was uh, actually rooting for the Braves and um, them them taking it in six made my evening. <laughs> there you go. There were a lot of people saying it was going to go to seven. You know, I kind of got in because of uh, motorsports related commitments. I I wound up. Um, getting into most of the games after the fifth inning. Mm. And when I turned in to, tuned into game six, I came in on the sixth and saw a 6-0 lead and was just like, this is it. Oh, this dang, it. it's going No done. freaking way they're coming back. Yep. So I uh, got a lot of respect for the Astros manager. Um, dude, dude's paid his dues yeah. and probably earned it. But just got me. Hey, we are way the hell off topic here. Anyway, so if you like the song, even if you don't like baseball, cool, <laughs> good, cool, cool song. Really cool ass bourbon. We're gonna have to check out this distiller. We haven't been here yet. We we need to go there. Yeah. Um. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, we uh that allows me for a digression. We're actually starting to talk to some local distilleries. Hmm. We might have some special treats coming up for you guys. You give them a little preview? Yeah, we shouldn't before. We don't have a high enough confidence level yet. I mean, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. But we... how, so tell us, uh, if, if yeah, tell us if you'd be interested in seeing us on site at a distillery. Maybe, maybe doing some videos. Maybe a lot Does of that streaming. sound cool? Maybe interviewing distillery employees, master distillers. Yeah. yeah, so hey, if you like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up, mash that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified when our new stuff drops. And comment, tell us what to listen to. Get into those comments, tell us what to listen to, tell us what to drink. I killed this because it's so good. Yeah, you did. Um, tell us what to drink, and uh, hey, tell us what you think about our videos. We will make a an honest effort to get back to everyone. We know we can't get back to everybody, but we actually enjoy 
mm-hmm. interacting with you guys because some of y'all are fucking funny. We love you subscribers. You guys are awesome. Uh, and some of you are hilarious. Uh, so keep it up. Keep it coming. This is fun. Yep. Until next time, guys. See you.